Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today we want to take a look how you can store Cardano or ADA, how the cryptocurrency is called, on your Ledger Nano Live app or on your Ledger Nano. Um, I'm using a Ledger Nano S Plus, but you could also use a Ledger Nano X or a Ledger Nano S. <coughs> I will show you how you can put it, the cryptocurrency on your Ledger and how you can actually stake it. So first of all, the first thing we're going to do is we open up the Ledger Live app and then we go to Manager and there we need to make sure that the, Let that the Cardano app is installed. So it's loading here right now. So there we can search for Cardano and here it is already installed on my Ledger Nano S Plus. Um, if it's not installed on yours, um, you can just click a button here and it will be, you need to verify it on your ledger and then it will be automatically installed within less than a minute. <clears throat> and the next thing you need to do is once you have the Cardano app installed, um, you need to add an account and therefore you just need to verify that on your ledger with clicking these two buttons here and then you give your Cardano account a name. So for me it was and Cardano one. So that's like my first Cardano wallet here. And that's basically it. So then you can find your Cardano account here. And then we can actually send and receive um, ADA. So because um, when we start out, we don't have any, so we just want to receive them. So we click on receive here. Then we select our Cardano account. And then we need to open the Cardano app was a bit late with that, just a second. And then it shows an address here. I can copy that address and um, it will also show the address here on my Ledger Nano. And I will verify that. And that the addresses are both the same. And then I can basically um, use this address to withdraw some ADA from my Binance account. So in order to do that, I just click on withdraw, um, copy the address. And currently it's um, suspended for a couple of hours. However, um, I did it earlier. So that's why you can see I have some ADA here on that ledger. Um, if it's not suspended, um, then you can just click the withdraw button here, type in your two-factor authentication, and then it will and restore ADA from your Binance account. Usually it just takes a couple of minutes until it arrives on your Ledger account. <clears throat> so that's basically it. Then we have um, our ADA on our Ledger account and can send or send it from our Ledger Live app or receive even more, whatever we want to do. What we can do in Ledger Live is we can stake um, Cardano or ADA. Um, in order to do that, we need to use a different interface, a browser interface, and the browser interface is, face is called adalite.io. And you just open your Cardano app here, and then you click Hardware Wallet, and then you click Unlock with Ledger. And then you will be able to see that we can actually access our um, ADA that we have on our ledger also via that interface. As you can see, I have 11 ADA here. And as you can see here, our um, web interface also shows that account balance. So if you don't want to send or receive um, your ADA with your ledger live app or there's an issue, and you could also do that here with send and receive. And it's basically all on your ledger. And you can also stake um, your ADA. And in order to do that, you just go to delegate here. And then you click confirm transaction. And then it costs a fee of like, first of all, it takes a deposit. So you need to deposit at least um, two ADA. Um, I did that earlier. So it doesn't show a deposit here. And then it takes a fee of 0. Point one seven eighty eight. Sometimes it's a bit higher or a bit lower. It always depends. And then you need to click confirm transaction, and then it will automatically delegate your whole stack, so all the ADAs that you have in your wallet to staking. 
So what it basically does is it will keep your ADA in your wallet. However, um, you can't send them somewhere and because they are delegated um, for staking. So as you can see here, my staking balance, balance currently is 11.6 ADA. So basically all the ADA I have on that wallet. And if I want to stop the staking, I just click here um, the deregister stake key button. And then I need to confirm that on my ledger. And then it basically stops the staking and I would be able to withdraw some ADA from there. So that's basically how staking works. And I would also get back my two ADA that I needed to deposit except for the fee that I paid. So the fee would be gone forever. But the deposit, I made the two ADA that everyone who wants to delegate um, needs to deposit um, would be back on my wallet. So that's basically it. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to use the comments down below. And if you find that video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.